representing the Board of Education as president, I want to congratulate all of this year's graduating class of 2020. You have grown from little boys and girls to mature adults, and I know that I can speak for most of your teachers and parents when I say we will miss you as you move on to bigger and hopefully better things. I want to wish each senior good luck in their endeavors, whether it be in college, armed services, or industry. I know this is not the senior year you had all expected, and I wish I could say I know how you feel, but I'd, I don't think any of us do. I don't have any grand words of wisdom to make this situation any better. This year is far from normal, but I know you will persevere and use this experience to make yourself stronger. I hope that with all that has gone on in the world today, that you will stop and take the time to be thankful for what you have and never take anything for granted. Breathe in each moment as it comes to you and make the best of the situation. This pandemic event has led to fear, frustration, and disappointment. But remember, you are not the only ones that are going through it. Your graduating class will have this memory forever and something you shared together. You are not alone during these hard times. We at LaBray are all here to support you. Remember, Viking strong, Viking proud. Thank you.
Good evening and welcome to the LeBray High School Class of 2020 graduation ceremony. My name is Jeff Starkey and I'm very proud and honored to be the high school principal at LeBray and it is indeed a special honor to join you tonight on this momentous occasion. Tonight marks the end of an era for the class of 2020, but as you say goodbye to the well-known, your friends and teachers, and close the door on your high school years, you are opening the door to your future. At LeBray High School, you have had the opportunity to learn and grow, to fail, to try again, and to strive to learn more, be more, and know more. We are all very proud of you. This year's commencement speaker is a true healthcare hero. Ross Myers graduated valedictorian from LeBray High School in 1998. He attended Youngstown State University and medical school at the Northeast Ohio Medical University. After medical school, he completed his pediatric residency training, a chief resident year, and a pediatric pulmonology fellowship at Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital in Cleveland, Ohio. Dr. Myers is an associate professor in the Department of Pediatrics at the Case Western Reserve University School of Medicine and Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital. His main role at Rainbow is associate director of the Pediatric Residency Program. His patient care work focuses on children with lung diseases, especially asthma and cystic fibrosis. In academics, Dr. Myers participates in National Institutes of Health and Industry-sponsored asthma and cystic fibrosis clinical trials, and has published several articles in major medical journals. He is also a nationally recognized educator of pediatric residents and holds several national leadership positions in education and educational research. Hello, everybody. Thank you to Mr. Starkey and the faculty and board of LeBray High School. It's such an honor to be able to give this commencement speech. I have incredibly fond memories of my time at LeBray, and it means the world to me to be asked to speak at graduation. The class of 2020, what a strange, odd, and uncertain time you're living in now. A global pandemic leading to social distancing and masking in order to save the lives of millions of people around the world. Classes held online, graduations canceled, celebrations made virtual, even the hot dog shop closed uh, for dining in. While this commencement ceremony may not seem as celebratory since we are not all together in the same place, please do not let that take away from the tremendous accomplishments you have achieved. You've graduated high school. That was an amazing amount of sacrifice, hard work, and laughter. 12 years of schooling done, and during that time you've all gained so much, more than you realize. Not just knowledge, but a social network and skills you will utilize for the rest of your days. You've all persevered in the midst of one of the most uncertain times in history. You've all had to endure complete changes in your lives, not just in your education, but your time with family and friends as well. Many of you haven't hugged your grandparents or other loved ones outside your household in months. However, I am sure that they are incredibly excited for you. You help save lives in your community by social distancing and wearing masks. The medical community thanks you, and I'm sure that Trumbull County thanks you too. What I want to recommend to all of you is to remember where you came from. Trumbull County was an amazing place to grow up. The Bray High School was a great place to learn and thrive. It was there that I created memories that will last a lifetime. I will never forget Mr. Edenfield telling the marching band one more time. Mr. Zelenak helping us all find the right angle in geometry. Mr. Powell going above and beyond to make sure we knew how to calculate the distance an object would travel given its velocity and mass. Playing Pachelbel's Canon in D with my closest friends in band belting out Hang On Sloopy to the stands during a football game, picking strawberries at Matt Witch's Berry Farm, playing music by a fire in the yard, and playing cards till all hours of the morning with my closest friends. As you all go on to the next stage in life, whether that be to college, trade or technical schools, or into the workforce, please remember this place, this home. It has shaped who you are and will continue to shape the person you become. The memories you have made at LeBray High School will live with you forever. Hold on to them and cherish them. To the class of 2020, congratulations! You've been through so much and have succeeded in more ways than you will ever know. You should all be amazingly proud of what you have accomplished. I know that I am so proud of all of you. Best of luck and great wishes for all of your 
future endeavors. Our first senior speaker this evening is class president Rachel Davidson. Rachel will be attending Youngstown State University and major in early childhood education. Hello, I'm Rachel, class pres for the class of 2020, the year where we survived the toilet paper slash sanitizer crash and the first pandemic in a while. Also the year where there are such things as murder hornets and flying spiders. It's great. I would like to thank everybody who has made this opportunity for graduation possible. Everyone has been so accommodating to all of us and made the best way possible for this to happen, regardless of everything that was said. Thank you to the parents for being so patient and also blessing us with the adopt a senior gifts. You guys have really helped make us feel special in a time where we thought this moment was never going to happen. Thank you also to the faculty, the staff, administration, lunch staff, and custodians who have hel also helped make my time at Labre a total blast. I respect and appreciate all of the work everyone has done throughout my years at Labre. Thank you also for the student body for entrusting me with this position as your class president. Thank you all so much. Now, if I had to leave something behind for the next class, one, thing, one of the things I would say is that it's okay to be yourself. One thing I struggled with was accepting who I was because I was afraid of being that person in the corner with no friends, but don't be like me. Celebrate the importance of each other's differences, their creative sides, and their characteristics. I've come to realize since quarantine that I've truly missed everybody regardless of how they looked at me weird or how they acted indifferent because I, I've gained and formed new friends. We are created to love all, so celebrate one's differences because with that comes a special addition to not only our class but with everything. We are special. If we were all the same, we would be super boring. So be yourself and stay in your lane because if not, you're going to feel that something is missing and you'll never find it because you won't even know who you are. Learn to grow where you are planted. Let's continue to celebrate one's quirky side because you never know, the odd one out could shine bright like the sun. They could make such a big difference. They could become the next Charlie D'Amelio, the TikTok lady. <laughs> Thank you again to all the teachers and all my classmates and friends who have helped make memories that I will never forget. Like a certain teacher, I won't name names, but he put the biggest cockroach I've ever seen on my desk and it crawled all over my stuff and my pencil when I was trying to take a nap. Or track season when I was about to jump my last hurdle and trip before the finish line and I was dead last. I didn't like hurdling anyway. Or the time we all came together as a class junior year and won the homecoming hallway with our theme being the greatest showman, walking the tightrope to graduation. And fun fact, tightrope is one word and we have it two words on our shirts, but that's okay. I also love passing my classmates and saying, Emily or Crystal, every time we saw each other. I loved every moment in band class when we also got to hear the beautiful voice of Mr. Stagg. The memories we make are, are what makes us special. Guys, we made it. I love you guys, and thank you for the many memories we shared together. Hey, look, Ma, I made it. Our next group of speakers is the valedictorian and salutatorian for the graduating class of 2020. These outstanding and well-rounded students embody an impressive breadth of knowledge and pride of personal character. Both students have demonstrated a strong dedication to their academics and responsibility to the Labre community, all while remaining committed to their extracurricular activities and outside obligations. First is class valedictorian Noah Jones. Noah will be attending the University of Akron and major in aerospace systems engineering. Before I begin, I'd like to thank the teachers, staff, faculty, janitors, parents and everyone else who made, uh, who worked their hardest to give us the best graduation they can. And to the frontline workers, the nurses, the doctors, the mailmen, the bank tellers, the machinists, and all those who go unrecognized. Thank you for myself and Labre's class of 2020. Who would have thought? You know, two months ago, I would have been thrilled to be staying home, sleeping in, eating fruit snacks, and playing fort Fortnite with all my friends when I was supposed to be at school. I think we all would have enjoyed that, but this is where we are, and there's nothing we can do, or is there? So like any other graduation speech, I'm going to start us off with an inspirational quote. 
Elon Musk, when asked about the launch of Tesla Motors, said, when something is important enough to you, you do it, even if the odds are not in your favor. Initially, he saw this car company as something destined for the gutter. He was building something no one else had su ever successfully pulled off, an electric car, draining every last penny into a company that should have failed. However, he believed in the cause he was fighting for and that the benefits that this company might bring to the world were worth the risk. Just like Elon, the odds have been stacked against our favor. The class of 2020 was born in the ashes of 9-11 and now we are currently graduating in the midst of a global pandemic. On top of that, you will probably be starting this next chapter uh, of your life in ways that you would have never expected. There's no argument that the, the odds have been piled against us. So what are you gonna do? You have come to the fork in the road. You have a decision to make. Are you gonna sit there and be filled with hatred because your family couldn't come see you graduate? Or will you celebrate enthusiastically with the ones who are here? Are you gonna sit there and be filled with disappointment because you can't move out of the house next fall? Or will you take advantage of the few extra months you've been given to spend with your parents and your siblings? And come this fall, are you gonna work your tail end off at home, doing everything you can to learn and work in this brand new environment? Or will you simply give up? And I promise, I don't mean any of that in a harsh way. There are so many people who have done so much for me regarding my education that couldn't be here today. And I'm sure you have some people like that too. And for that, I'm terribly sorry. All I'm asking is that you don't give up. You know, four or five years from now, when we graduate college, I guarantee employers are gonna look at this semester. They're gonna look to see who put in the extra effort and who gave up. This whole situation is a test, a test of your character, your perseverance, your patience, your integrity, and your grit. Are you going to pass? You must ask yourself, is my definition of success, whatever that may be, important enough to me that I'm gonna step up and put in the extra effort even when the odds are against me. Day by day, you must make this choice. You must choose to let your passion and perseverance collide even on the days when the odds are stacked highest against you. Now I wanna end with a passage from the Bible that I think does an excellent job of wrapping up this idea. Paul writes in Philippians 4, 11 through 13, I've learned to be content with whatever I have. I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. I've learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is with a full stomach or empty, with plenty or little, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Class of 2020, let's go out and make Viking Nation proud. Our next speaker is Class Salutatorian Sydney Pierce. Sydney will be attending The Ohio State University and major in biology. Do you remember when we were kids and you'd go outside and find thousands of things to keep you fascinated? Tiny caterpillars chasing butterflies, sword fights with sticks and forts in the woods. Everything new was an adventure and everything not new was already a story. When we started school, we entered with that same innocence. We got to meet boys and girls who seemed to have even better ideas than we did when it came to free time and recess. And playdates didn't even come close to the fun and the laughter we had when running from our crushes on the playground. We got to know each other in an unusual way, thrown together in a group that would soon travel through life for many years to come. We were brought together from the beginning and we were expected to learn how to live with one another. Not only were we learning to become our own selves, who we were and who we wanted to be, but we had to learn to socialize with the kids around us as well. Each new chapter that arrived, we entered together with this weird bond no one can truly understand. Each new chapter jolted us out of our comfort zones at a time when we finally got used to where we were. In fifth grade, we finally understood that it took a little more work to stay afloat. Then we were shoved into middle school and it began a whole new cycle of unknowns, except for one simple factor, the people we were traveling with. When we finally conquered middle school and we roamed the halls as kings and queens of eighth grade, we found the familiar comfort feeling, only to be kicked into high school. More tests than we can count, good grades, bad grades, homecomings, Friday nights under the lights, stuffy gyms and losing our voices the next day, pep rallies, ceremonies, even surviving Spanish and freshman biology. We have spent, I would say, a lifetime together. And even more, we learned through a lifetime together. No matter whether there were hundreds of students who knew your name and said hi to you when you 
walk down the hall, or there was only one best friend who knew more about you than anyone ever had. We had someone to experience these things with. So what about now? We're entering yet another point in our journey that is unknown to us, and it could very well be the most important jump of them all. But the main difference, and I bet the one we notice most of all, is the fact that this is the moment we begin to jump for the first time alone. We have no safety nets in each other and no hands holding us from slipping into the deep end. It is terrifying. We were taught to be together and find solidarity with one another to make these years bearable. In our time, we maybe even began to rely on each other. That is why this time is such a valuable and pivotal point in our lives. It is now that we learn what true independence is. Maybe you knew how to live on your own without parents, and you always managed to study without teachers, but you always had someone by your side at lunch and always had a buddy in the desk next to you. This is when life choices begin to matter more than ever before, and yet mistakes should not be feared. There may be times when you want to do the wrong thing, wished for a different outcome, or flat out didn't know. And these are the times when you finally have no one by your, but your conscience to tell you right from wrong. Know that these are the times that are even more important than crushing an interview or acing a test. These times will teach you more than you could have ever learned with someone shielding you. Mistakes are not about what you did wrong or the pain that is felt, although both are important. They are about the lessons you learn from the failure and what word do we fear more than fail failure? Do not let money, another person's opinion, or the failure, fear of fair, failure hold you back. You cannot be afraid to fail because it's inevitable. We endured failure throughout high school in many ways, in losing the big game or not studying for a test, missing a deadline, and maybe even getting knocked down from valedictorian. <laughs> we know what failure is. It is not something that will ruin us. We cannot let it hinder us when chasing our dreams. Do not confuse a smart mind for a fearful one. If these past few months have taught us anything, it is this. Don't be afraid of doing something because you fear failure. These months have taught us that time can change in a blink of an eye and it never waits for us. Our dreams can change, the situations we are put in change, even the people in our lives can change. Don't let the fear of failure keep you waiting. If you wait, you'll miss so many opportunities that come once in a lifetime. To every single student in the class of 2020, please know that I am sincerely so proud of you for all you've accomplished and everything you've endured. Beyond that, I'm even more grateful for you and all that you have done for me in these past few years together. Whether we spoke every single day or just a few times, you left an everlasting impression on me and my story, and I pray that I did the same for you. Thank you for making me feel like I belonged somewhere and for understanding how I feel in a time like this when no one else can begin to imagine. <sighs> Thank you for teaching me how, to, how great unity can be. Thank you for being my safety net for these past four years and for helping me realize that this is a time we're never going to forget. Thank you for giving me memories to tell my kids one day and for giving me plenty of things I'll, never, I'll forever get embarrassed about. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me to fly despite the fear. In addition to thanking my classmates, I'd like to thank the staff for the continuous years of hard work to make their school function the way it does so effortlessly. I'd like to thank the faculty for always keeping an open mind and leaving room for students to speak their opinions, maybe even changing some rules. I'd like to thank all the teachers and guidance counselors for pushing us as students, sometimes beyond the point we think we can handle because you see more in us than we do in ourselves. Thank you to my family for letting me grow up in my own skin and teaching me how to make decisions for myself in my own way. Even if it was something as crazy as moving to another school and having to drive me every single morning for five years. <laughs> to the class of 2020, we've been set back, but we are far from damaged. The universe knew we were entering the real world with a bang, so it just gave us a spotlight. Do something with it live in oh well kind of life not a what if you never know what might just work out for you never wait for the world to change around you go make it happen but if there's one thing worth waiting for it's this wait for the people that love you they will catch up and they'll spend the most unimaginable memories with you 
just like we did. Thank you. The LeBray Senior Class of 2020 will be going in many directions after today. Some students will seek local jobs, enter various branches of the military service, enter trade and technical schools, and go on to colleges in two-year and four-year programs. Our seniors have been very fortunate to receive many scholarships, both academic and athletic, to help them further their education, and I am proud to announce that the LeBray Class of 2020 has received over $2 million in renewable scholarships to various colleges and universities. Congratulations, graduates. On behalf of LeBray Local Schools, the Board of Education, the administration, faculty, and staff, I want to congratulate all of our seniors on their accomplishments and also congratulate our families. Parents, we know that you're proud. We want to express our appreciation for your partnership with LeBray Schools and entrusting your children with us. We know that partnership was never more important than the spring of 2020. And to signify the importance of that partnership, we're going to break from tradition this year. And we think we have a special facet of graduation where we're going to allow family members and relatives to be present and present the diplomas to the seniors. Again, we congratulate our seniors in the class of 2020. You've had a great career at LeBray. We wish you nothing but the best in all your future endeavors. And now we turn our attention to the presentation of diplomas. Jeremiah Lee Adams, Jr. Olivia Christine Ansel. Kyle Ray Bailey. Chad Bates. Joshua Bates. Addison Bear. Troy S. Bearfield. Jay Bellish. Savannah Veronica Starr Bennett. Emily Jean Blattel. Kurt Boggs. Drew Brady. Jordan Thomas Brewster. Julie Bright. Jaden Ashton Burns. Jacqueline Ruth Burson. Jason Calderwood. Dominic David Michael Canzanetta. Taman Kaysen. Alexis Leanne Collins. Joseph Thomas Culver. Tyler Reese Davis. Madison Taylor DeBolt. Shane Patrick DeSmith. Cheyenne Lee Dolan. T. 
Tiana Christine Drake. John L. Dukes. Matthew Philip Angler. Ava Nicole English. Zion Flanagan. Braden Michael Galford. Eric Sean Garvey. Destiny Renee Goldner. Jeffrey James Harris. Dominic Lee Harris Jr. Faith Liberty Hartman. Cassandra Halk. Stephanie Ann Helmick. Tyranny Hill. Diamond Heinemann Hawk. Hannah Humphrey. Shayla Dawn Jaglowitz. Connor Johnston. Zachary Michael Keller. Alexander Laughlin. Aiden Cole Lorenzi. Kelsey McBride. Ashley May Moon. Isabella Noel Nogales. Stephen Ray Olson. Nathaniel Payne Ostis. Sierra Ann Pickens. Haley Ray Prentice. Jacob Allen Reeder. Heidi Lynn Ruffert. Malachi Malik Roberts. Chloe Rose. Peyton Daniel Royal. Justin Tyler Rutherford. Brent William Sanderson II. Eric Scott. Gwyneth Ann Cernulka. Jamie Renee Shiflet.
Natalie Marie Sisler. Angelina Marie Smith. Nathan J. Smith. Joshua Springer. Blake Trenton Stout. Ashley Marie Taylor. Kerrigan Luana Timko. Winston Lawrence Timko. Gabe Tinker. Dylan Alexander Tadaro. Noah Miller Weatherman. Mackenzie Wilson. Paige Ellen Wilson. Rachel Diane Davidson. Noah Logan Jones. Sydney Rose Pierce. The gesture of moving the tassel from one side of the cap to the other symbolizes the movement from student to graduate. This year, nationally recognized art student Jason Calderwood created this animation using the Apple Pencil. Jason will be attending the Ohio State University in the fall. These young men and women have successfully met the criteria established by the LeBray Board of Education and the Ohio Department of Education. It is my honor to present to you the LeBray High School Class of 2020.
Hi guys, I just want to say um, how honored I feel to have been your, either your teacher or your coach or your club advisor the last few years. I have loved getting to know all of you guys. You all have a special place in my heart and I'm going to miss you so dearly. Um, I just want to wish you the best of luck as you enter this next exciting chapter of your life. And um, I just hope you guys you know, keep in touch and I can't wait to see what the future holds for all of you. I love you. Bye. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Uh, we miss and love you guys. Just make sure you stay in contact with us uh, no matter where you go in the next couple of years. Well, class of 2020, you did it. It may not be how you thought it would be, but you guys are officially done with high school. Best of all, you'll never have to ask anyone to ever use the bathroom again. But in all seriousness, uh, the world's a crazy place right now. Uh, but I am optimistic that things are going to get better if you choose the better. Life is going to happen no matter what you do. So the best way to get ahead is to think about how you're going to react to it and then just do it. You know that thing you love to do, your passion? Learn more about it, become an expert in it, and change the world through it. Never stop learning, never stop questioning, and never stop being you. The world is a lot bigger than 330. Have fun. Be safe, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Hi, those who were in my class know that we left Dante in the depths of the Inferno. Now, the whole story of the Inferno is a life lesson. You know, that you go through all these horrible things, you make it through. And so I wanted to read the ending to this because I really think it applies to everybody. Dante is now in the cavern with the devil. As far as one can get from Beelzebub, and in the remotest corner of this cavern, there is a place one cannot find by sight but by the sound of a narrow stream that trickles through a channel and is cut into the rock and its meanderings making a gentle slope. Into that hidden passage, my guide and I entered to find again the world of light. And without thinking of a moment's rest, we climbed up, he first and I behind him, far enough to see through a round opening a few of those fair things the heavens bear. Then we came forth to see again the stars. So when you're stuck and completely in despair, keep listening for that stream to guide you out. Okay. Nathan, I love you. I love you all. I miss you. Bye-bye. Hello, seniors. I know this year hasn't gone quite the way you anticipated or ever dreamt about. And I know a lot of you are upset and you're angered, as a lot of your family members are too, and other people are too. But you have overcome. You adapted, you overcame, and you succeeded. You have won the day. You still are getting your diploma. So that's a great thing. I said some other people were uh, disappointed about this. I'm one of those. I enjoy going to graduation. I enjoy seeing you there and celebrating with you. I uh, will miss the hugs and the tears of joy and the laughter and watching you. I will miss watching you across the, the stage to receive your diploma. For some of you, I really got to know you. And I'm really proud of you and excited to see you receive your diploma. I will miss when you all get together for the last time outside and you're running around, hugging everybody, laughing, joking, telling stories and with your family. And then I stay off the fringe because I don't want to interfere. But some of you come over to search me out and say thank you or give me a hug. I will miss that. But one thing I do get to do is give you a few words of advice or wisdom that I always give you the whole time. First thing I always tell you to do is love yourself. Before you can love anybody else, you got to love yourself. And you share that love with the world because the world's lacking in love. It's your life. Choose your destiny. Choose what you want to be. Choose where you want to go. You make the choices. This world is full of a lot of possibilities, opportunities. You have to go out and search for them, find them, reach out and grab them. There are no excuses, only solutions. So you find your opportunities. And your life is truly a gift. A gift to be enjoyed each and every day. I've had a wonderful life. Hasn't always been easy. 
A lot of joy. A lot of joy. With all that said, I wish you a life with much, much success and even a great abundance of joy. To the class of 2020, thank you for the good times and all the fond memories. But take care of yourself and Godspeed. Hi class of 2020, I just want to congratulate you and best wishes on your future endeavors. You'll always be remembered as the class that survived the COVID-19 and you will be missed greatly. Congratulations seniors, it's been an honor and a privilege to meet and teach you. Good luck in the future. Let me know if I can help you with your future awesomeness. Take care. Hi guys, um, I know this stinks that you're not able to uh, have all the traditional ceremonies that a, a graduating class should have, um, but I'm proud of all the work and success you've had over the last four years. Um, and I'm also proud of the perseverance that you've shown through difficult times. So uh, congratulations, um, and I hope that you have a lot of future success. Hola seniors, congratulations. And I would just like to remind you that sometimes the most simple things in life can be the most important. So good luck, congratulations, buena suerte. Seniors, I know this wasn't the way you expected this year to end, but you should still be very proud of your accomplishments. Just remember that graduation is not the end of your learning. You need to continue setting goals and growing and learning every day. Congratulations, I'm proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wanna wish you the best of luck um, with your future choices, your future decisions, and remember, be the change you wish to see in the world. Hey seniors, I just want to wish you good luck. All right, class of 2020, congratulations. You've done a great job. Remember, do what you want to do, not what everybody else wants you to do. All right, hi seniors, um, just wanted to say congratulations. I know that this wasn't the way that you expected your year to end, but you made it through and uh, good luck next year. Hey children, class of 2020, it's been a pleasure knowing you. And remember, when life throws you a curveball, just say to yourself, what good can come from this? Peace out, namaste. Congratulations to all the seniors. Good luck in your future and always stay Viking strong. Hi seniors, as I also am leaving LaBray after many years of school, I understand how you feel. I didn't plan on our last goodbye being the way it was. But remember, be strong, be resilient, but most important, be kind. Class of 2020, we've made some great memories here at Libre. Were those memories through art, when you showcased your artwork and won a great award, or when you got the best award of all, hanging on your family's refrigerator? Or was it when you became the greatest show, winning Spirit Week your junior year? Or was it when you served your class as a member of prom committee, giving your classmates the best prom of the decade. Seniors, you did it. Congratulations. Hi, seniors. Uh, congratulations on graduating, and thank you for welcoming me to the LeBray family. Congrats, class of 2020. It was a pleasure having you in class the last few years. I got to see your argumentative side. Uh, I'm happy to see you go on and use those debating skills in the real world. Good luck. Hi, class of 2020. Um, I just want to say congratulations. You guys made it. Um, some of you guys were my very first students when I came to LeBray, so you guys will all have a very special place with me. And I just say good luck with everything that you guys do, and I know you guys can make it through anything. Congratulations. Hi, seniors. I really have enjoyed getting to know all of you and having you in class. Some of you I've known for five years now. Uh, you're really going to be missed. Um, get out there and do uh, you know, do some good work and then on to better, bigger and better things. So best of luck. If you need anything, let us know. Thank you. Hey seniors, it's Mrs. Helmick and I've always called you young adults, but now you are getting ready to drop that adjective young and become just adults. But what I want you to remember is to never lose your teenage spirit. Hey seniors, class of 2020. 
Just wanted to congratulate you and uh, hope that you're all doing well. I haven't seen you in a while. You know, it's been a really weird last two months or so, but you're almost at the end. Uh, every, every single time at the end of the year, I hear the same thing. It's been a wild ride, it's been a long journey, but realistically, you are the only class that can say that for the last 20 years. So whatever you're choosing to do, college, trade school, military, workforce, it doesn't matter. Just go out and do what Vikings do best, and that's be the best. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hello, members of the graduating class of 2020. Well, it has been an unusual year, but I want to congratulate each of you on your accomplishments and to wish you all the very best as you embark on your chosen path. Life is a gift, use that gift wisely, and continue to strive to reach the goals that have, you have set for yourself. Go forward, graduates. Congratulations. Hey guys, Mr. McNeer checking in. I uh, just wanted to swing by, tell you a few quick things. Uh, the first one is I hope you're all safe. Um, we're living in some crazy times right now, so it's important that you take all the precautions that you need. Um, we miss you here. We uh, didn't want your uh, career here at La Brea to end this way, but unfortunately that's just how the chips fell. Um, to the ones that I had in class, uh, once or maybe even four times, Noah Jones, um, I'm grateful for the time we spent together. Uh, I learned a lot from you guys. Hopefully you learned a little bit from me. Um, to the ones that didn't have me, I saw you in the hallway. Uh, we miss your smiles, your fun times. Um, just know that uh, you'll always be a Viking, no matter if you got to go out the way you wanted to. Um, just an encouraging word here, uh, go change the world. Um, I know you're all capable of it, and I'm sure uh, that we'll see you around someday. Talk to you later. Hey guys, how are you? You have no idea how much I have missed you this year. 2020 is gonna go down in the record books, guys. It's been a year of firsts, um, but it's also the beginning of the next phase of your life. And I wish you nothing but the best. You guys have each touched my heart and I just cannot wait to see where God takes you. I wish you um, that you find joy and happiness in whatever you do in life. And um, don't ever give up, guys. You can do more than you think you can. Just push yourselves a little bit, just like I did. I miss you guys. I love you. And friend me on Facebook. Bye. Hi, 2020 band seniors. It's been a difficult year, but I just wanted to congratulate you uh, on completing your senior year and wishing you good luck in the future. And I wanted to say the same also, and good luck, congratulations, and we miss you, and good luck, keep checking in with us, you know you're always welcome back next year. Hi seniors, it's Miss Nogales. This is definitely not how I wanted to say goodbye. But my favorite part of graduation is always after the ceremony. Meeting you in the back room, giving you your diploma, wishing you well, and finally, giving you a big hug. But for today, this is gonna have to do. So, as you enter the new chapter of your life, that's right, the new chapter is starting now. Remember seniors, you're gonna have lots of choices and decisions to make, lots of circumstances to overcome, and life lessons to learn. But remember, smile through the tears, continue to stay strong, spread kindness, and always remind yourself that everything happens for a reason. Although we're all headed in different directions, you still all have one thing in common, and that is you are the LeBray graduating class of 2020. So from the bottom of my heart, it's been a pleasure to be your school counselor. I wish you a life full of happiness and success. It's now time for you to go out into the world and do wonderful things and make all your dreams come true. Congratulations and best wishes, class of 2020. On behalf of the administration, faculty, and students at LeBray High School, we extend our congratulations and best wishes to each of our graduating seniors. We wish you continued success and happiness in all your future endeavors. And now, ladies and gentlemen of the graduating class of 2020 only, this place is closed. <laughs>